Hey guys, it's LambChops99 here, and I finally got the cord for my PVR in the mail today. Uh, if you haven't noticed the different video quality, uh, I had to buy some cable splitters and whatnot for the Dazzle just to get this to work, but I hope you guys don't mind the quality too much. Uh, it's definitely more watchable, that's for sure. Uh, it's a little blurry if you look at the screen, I think, and you can see some lines here and there, but trust me, it was a lot worse without the cables I bought. So uh, I hope you guys respect that effort I put in to making the Dazzle quality a little bit better. Uh, that bring me, brings me to another thing. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me why I didn't invest in a $150 uh, dollar Hapage or the, some better recording devices. But the thing is, uh, I am going to university next year, living in res, like two hours away. And I don't think it's a really good investment for me uh, to buy to buy a recording device that will only last me for like two months, that I'll be using for another two months. Like I wanted to buy one really just for you guys, but... Uh, the Dazzle seemed like it was the perfect buy for me because it only costed like 40 bucks. It was on sale, and I used my Best Buy gift cards just to buy it. So it worked out for me, and it worked out for you guys too. And the quality isn't horrible if you really look at it, and it's definitely an upgrade from my camera where you can see my reflection sometimes in the screen. So hope you guys don't mind too much, and we can keep up the trade days and hopefully some new uh, series that we can we couldn't have done without uh, that we couldn't have done with my camera. And right now. Uh, I kind of want you guys' opinion, so I'm a, I'm literally at the point where I've sold basically every low-end player to get to my high-end players, and I feel like you know I'm buying and selling the same players over and over again, and I might I think I might need a change. So it got me thinking uh, that I should maybe sell my pucks and players. I know a lot of people are against it, but I know some people really want to buy pucks for me. Uh, people have been asking me since day one, since I started making YouTube videos, and I thought, you know, I would give it a try since I got literally nothing to lose. I know uh, a couple of people are already selling pucks, and I thought I would jump on the bandwagon. Uh, I would maybe sell a majority of my pucks, and then maybe make a series to start clean and work my way up just like I started Hut for the first time. So, if you're interested, uh, I would sell my pucks for $10 for 100 k and that's kind of what the average rate is going for right now. And I could maybe give some special deals, like if you buy 100 k I can throw in 10 k for free, so we probably can negotiate. Uh, I can sell my players as well, and we'll try to keep around the same rates. Uh, like for Ovechkin, let's just say a regular Ovechkin, uh, he's around 350 k and maybe I would sell him for like $33.00 or something less than $10 per 100k, so I'm definitely kind of uh, lenient on uh, sales, I guess. Uh, my main method, uh, I know a lot of people have been wanting to give me Microsoft points for players, but uh, I think my main method would only be PayPal because I don't want to do Microsoft points because it involves codes, and it's really easy to miscommunicate with that type of transaction. And I don't want to be involved with a huge scamming dispute or stuff like that. I think that PayPal is the easiest way to go. I get the payment, I send you the pucks, uh, plain and simple. So if you're interested in buying pucks, let me know through YouTube by sending me a message. And maybe we can work out on some deals. I know a lot of people still want to make their hot team, so it kind of works out for everybody. So that's basically it. Uh, let me know what you think of the quality of the PVR down below. And message me if you want to buy 